Typhoon Chaba, the strongest storm Korea's seen in more than a decade, has caused some major damage along the country's southern coast. We have our Kim ji on the line with more. ji so this typhoon has indeed proved deadly. I understand it's also caused quite a bit of property damage. Uh, what do we know at this point? Well, Devin, what we know so far is that the typhoon has claimed four lives, including an elderly woman who fell from the roof of her house and a firefighter who was on duty. And it's caused a number of accidents, including a crane at a constru construction site in Busan that collapsed in the wind. Not far away in the city of Ulsan, flooding halted production at the Hyundai Motor factory, and a flash, flash flood advisory has been issued. Residents downstream from a dam on the Taewagang River were forced to evacuate so the dam could release water to prevent further flooding. The General Insurance Association of Korea says damages incurred from Typhoon Taba are estimated at nearly 9.3 million U.S. dollars so far, as some 980 automobiles were reported to have been submerged, and some 210,000 households have experienced power cuts. President Bakunay urged swift restoration efforts and response measures to minimize damages in the affected areas, while the Ministry of Public Safety and Security says it plans to come up with detailed plans for aid by the end of the month. Fortunately, the typhoon is weakening and transportation is up and running again in some areas, including the KTX Express trains on the Gyeongbu Line. Flights into and out of Busan, Kime, and Jeju are now back on schedule as well. However, sea routes for passenger ships and fishing boats are still under restrictions in these areas due to safety reasons. The typhoon is now over the East Sea and is expected to arrive in Japan by Thursday morning. Back to you.